Everyone, Battle for Azeroth is coming soon. We have a new post on MMO Champion about the Alpha build. This has a ridiculous amount of content. The amount of information farmed from those data miners is incredible. Let's just look at some of this stuff. We have a bee. We have Jaina's mom looking good. We got a bunch of zombies. We have new models. There's just so much here. There's just so much. I encourage you, take a peek at MMO Champion. They've got all these things. Look at it. Look. And then we get down to the to the meat and the potatoes. The LA Shaman changes. What's going to happen? Who even knows? I put out a video earlier on, uh, way early on, right when the X-Pack was announced, and I went through some of the talents and some of the changes. Let me tell you, so much is going to change. It is not clear if it's good or bad, but MMO has so much information. It's a lot more clear on what some of the changes definitely are, the direction they're going, having to do with spells and talents. So what I want to do in this video is I want to try to break it down from you. There's a lot of information and you won't necessarily understand the impact of some of the talent changes if I don't walk you all the way through it. So I want to go fast, but I'm going to give you all the details based on this new information for Ellie Shaman in the best consumable way I can, I can think of, which is just going through one by one through the changes and walking you all the way down the road. Okay, so here we go. By the way, we have huge toads that are mounts. Look at that guy. God, we're gonna ride him. He's hairy, it's weird. Looking at just the talents, we can see a huge shift from what we saw previously. There are so many changes, so many things have been knocked off and so many new things have been knocked on. Here's the, here's the deal. Even some things that might look like you understand, we're gonna go through it in detail. For example, I'm just gonna spit, go right to it. Everyone's gonna talk about it, Earth Shield. Earth Shield is not the same Earth Shield that is in the game today. We're gonna go through it right now. Starting off by just looking at this, we can see the first row of talents has changed only a little bit. They've moved Earthen Rage to the left position and removed Path of Flame. What is in its place is called Molten Fury. Molten Fury changes Lava Surge, which by the way, still gives you an instant cast Lava Burst and resets the cooldown. But now with this ability, your the, uh, the Lava Burst itself will generate 50% more Maelstrom. This means every time you get those procs, then you your Lava Burst gives you 50% more Maelstrom, meaning it gives you 18 now. Totem, Totem Mastery stayed the same. Going to the second row of talents, this has changed seriously, okay? And you wanna know why? Because Gust of Wind is gone. Gust of Wind has been removed from the game. I know, I don't know what's gonna happen here. I don't know what's gonna happen here. That was our one run away from the Frost Death Knights. They're coming for you. They've also moved Ancestral Guidance down to way lower to the 75 tier. And for Windrush Totem, they just got rid of it. No one is using it anyway. What we have now is Aftershock, which has not changed compared to live. Your spells refund 30% of the Maelstrom spent. They have Elemental Mastery. Looks the same as the current Elemental Mastery, doesn't it? But it's not. It's different. Elemental Mastery is still a two-minute cooldown, but what it does is now Lightning Bolt has a 10% chance to cause Earthshock to not consume any Maelstrom for five seconds. Pretty big change. Gives a lava, uh, Lightning Bolt some value. Lava Burst has a chance to cause Frost Shock to deal 20% increased damage for five seconds. That doesn't seem like a whole lot to me, but hey, it's something. You're going to be using all those abilities. Maybe you'll be able to weave spells a little bit differently, but it's a big change from what it does now, which is giving you a lot of haste. I see this as a big PvE changer. I don't know if it's really viable in PvP yet, but we're going to have to find out. Another new talent is Volcanic Rage. Volcanic Rage causes you to, on the target, erupt a volcano under the target's location, causing 250% of spell power, fire damage to all enemies within eight yards, and apply flame shock to all the targets hit, which is kind of a big deal. Why is that? Because flame shock has changed. Flame shock has now changed to have a six second cooldown. On live, it has no cooldown, but it consumes Maelstrom. Now it has a six second cooldown, but does not consume any Maelstrom. Yes, Maelstrom is still in the game. Next tier, we see some very big changes. One, 
We got to think about what we're losing. Not only what's there, but what isn't there anymore. Earth grab isn't there. That's a huge PvP impact. That was so big for us to control those melees, to control their positioning so that we can run away. That we can gust of wind. Oh yeah, gust isn't even a thing anymore. Voodoo totem has also been removed. Not quite as used, I don't think, across the board. What we now have is spirit wolf. Similar to what healers have today. While transforming to ghost wolf, you gain 5% increased movement speed and 5% uh, damage reduction every one second, sacking up to four times. I think Resto has it about six times today. But it's kind of useful. Without Gust of Wind, it could be very viable to take this talent if you're going to be kiting a lot. Especially if, there's, if it can synergize with what's in the Honor Talents if we still have Spectral Recovery. Next, Earth Shield. Earth Shield. Whoa. Crazy, right? Well, it does take a lot of mana, but it is could be a great defensive move for us. The BFA Earth Shield... Protects the target with an earthen shield, increasing the effectiveness of the shaman healing spells on that target by 20%, causing the attacks to heal the shield to target for a certain amount of uh, spell power scaling. Nine charges, which is interesting, way up from four. Last 10 minutes, it can only, and the, and the effect of that shield can only occur every few seconds. Pretty significant, and it can only be put on one person that's similar. Now, what's different is there is no, doesn't appear to be a cooldown. The other thing is, you're going to be trading off taking the stun totem to take Earth Shield. Now that's trading up a stun for a defensive, kind of an interesting trade off. The other thing is, it does not do what the Earth Shield of today does. The Earth Shield of today protects the ally with an Earthen Shield, reducing all damage it receives by 10 seconds and causes the target to heal by a certain amount when they take damage a certain amount, which is not what this does at all. This puts a shield on the target when it takes any hits. And it increases the healing only from the Shaman. And I'm an alley, so I'm not going to be healing that huge. Pretty interesting change. I forgot to mention on my first recording of this that Goodbye Ancestral Swiftness, 6% haste, gone. Maybe it's baseline, we don't know yet, but it's gone. And then we have Capacitor Totem. Looks very similar to the one of today. That's because it is, but it also isn't. Now the change here is a little sneaky. They don't really mention it, but the difference here is... Capacitor Totem is went from a 45 second cooldown to a one minute cooldown. Pretty big, 15 seconds, raising that cooldown by about a third. That's kind of nuts. Next change is, it still has a two second, of like, you know, time to blow up. And then once it does, it stuns for three seconds. That is not five seconds. Let me just say, that's kind of big for PvP. Just saying, a little bit concerning. And that's it for the 45 tier. That is pretty huge in terms of control. So far, we've already lost movement. Speed. We've already lost momentum uh, from Gust of Wind and some control from the Earth Grab. It's going to be a different PvP landscape already. Now, the next tier, the 60 piece, the 60 set, we have Elemental Blast, same as it is now, except it was moved from the 75 tier. We then have Storm Elemental. Now, it looks the same. Even if you hover over it, you can see all the text. You think it's very similar. It's actually not. There is a bunch of changes done to Storm Elemental, which is very interesting change that they're making. This is now controls uh, call forth a greater Storm Elemental to hurl gust of wind at the target uh, Shaman enemy and generate Maelstrom. That's very similar today. We now have a bit at the bottom, which is new. While the Storm Elemental is active, each time you cast Lightning Bolt or Chain Lightning, the cast time of Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning is reduced by 3%, stacking 30 times up to 90% if you do that math. That's pretty interesting, especially because of the change with Stormkeeper. We wonder what this means. Does it mean that when you use, when your Maelstrom procs, does that count as two casts? When you use Stormkeeper and you use Chain Lightning and that procs maybe uh, through the new power of the Maelstrom type of thing. Okay, that might be a lot of stacks. So it's very interesting change. And they're starting to appears to make Lightning Bolt very significant in this rotation, in the playstyle. They're not making it as insta-cast burst heavy. It seems like BFA might be a casting time for the Ellie. Don't worry, we haven't even got to the big news yet. Echo of the Elements is pretty much the same. They've moved it from the 90 tier to the 60 tier. Same with Storm Elemental. That used to be the 90. Now it's at the 60. For the next set of talents, at the 75 tier, we have Ancestral Guidance. Pretty much the same exact thing as it is today. Next is Seismic Armor. Very interesting talent. Now, there's a lot to understand here. First of all, the talent is targets affected by your Earthquake deal 20% less damage to you. That's awesome. That means if I'm an arena or if I'm in a BG or sorry, or anything, 
anyone hit by my Earthquake, one, can get knocked down. Two, deals a lot less damage to me. I like that a lot. Sounds great. But what they don't mention here, Earthquake has changed. Earthquake has changed. First of all, there's going to be a new passive. It's called Epicenter. Epicenter. Each target hit by your Chain Lightning increases the damage of your next Earthquake by 20%. Reduces the cast time of Earthquake by 20%. Interesting that I mentioned the cast time of Earthquake. That's right. That's right. It's changed. Earthquake is now much different. It is not a free to cast yet. I mean, if you get the stacks up, you get the reduced cast time, then it will be. Next is 15 second cooldown. You, that, you know what that means? You can't spam it. It has a 2.5 second cast speed. It'll be reduced by the number of chain lightning targets, all that, but it's a huge change. Causes the earth within eight yards of the target to tremble break, dealing physical damage over 12 seconds and sometimes knocking down. So same effect, but you can't stack them. You got to cast them. Whew, big change. So what does this mean for seismic armor talent? That means that given if you can chain lightning the targets a bunch, maybe you can get an instant cast earthquake down and then they'll be doing 20% less damage. But it, seismic armor seems to rely on a lot unless you're doing mythic plus pushes unless you're doing maybe a battleground casting something for 2.5 seconds for just someone to run out of it in pvp is a little it worries me it worries me a little bit so it seems cool but we'll see next nature's guardian <laughs> the attacks that bring your health below 30 percent increase your maximum health by 25% for 10 seconds. Can't occur more over uh, more than once every 30 seconds. This is basically what this is doing is it's replacing your artifact trait, shamanistic healing. Whenever your health drops below 35%, the, your artifact power, which is, by the way, dead by this point, uh, heals you for a huge amount. It can only occur once every 30 seconds. That's what we're talking about here. So that's what this is. Kind of an interesting row. They've made it very defensive, but not... Um, CC oriented at all really it's all just super healy defensive so you're gonna have to pick one like none of these are sexy but you got to pick one and they kind of made them all not sexy equally you know like reduce damage for healing uh, you have to cast an earthquake and reduce damage but AoE shit down uh, you have to go into this which will be a passive heal I mean this one nature's guardian sounds pretty good for PvP at the moment oh yeah and don't forget elemental fusion gone going to the 90 tier we have some changes First of all, Liquid Magma Totem has not really changed. I think they're trying to give it another go. Putting it on this tier, maybe it will do that for PvE. It's still doing the same thing. You drop it, it hits random targets. Next, Primal Elementalist, also staying the same. Now, I do not know the abilities of the Fire, Storm, Earth Elemental. Maybe those have changed. They are not in the notes that I could find. So we'll just have to wait and see if we can learn a little bit more. As you guys know, I do have the pet build that I do run sometimes. Using those elemental pet abilities definitely can give you an edge. And this is, I'm a little bit curious what they're thinking about changing with those. Last but not least, high voltage lightning bolt can now cause a second elemental overload. Yes, it is pretty much like power of the maelstrom, except now it's a passive. And now it's just all the time elemental uh, can now cause a second elemental overload. Now, the percentages here, it, does it mean can now? What does that mean in terms of percentage hit? It's a little bit unclear, but it's interesting. This is what they've ported the artifact trait that does a ton of damage with the Stormkeeper to in the new BFA talent trees. And for the last tier, let's all take a moment, please, together and look at this last row and understand what's missing. Everybody... We don't know what's exactly going to happen for BFA, okay? We don't know what the honor talents look like. They all look, they haven't updated those yet. They're, they were not data mined yet. Once they are, I will have a video. But let's just all sit here for just a moment because we have lost something important to us, okay? We've lost Ice Fury. Ice Fury's gone. It's gone, okay? It's just gone. It's not on the last tier, it's just gone. We have to get over it. We have to move on. If you search the site for Ice Fury, what do you find? An NPC. A freaking NPC. This is Ice Fury now. This is Ice Fury now. Get used to it. We're going to move on. I just wanted to share with you all. 
we're gonna have to live to learn without anyway back to the talents here's the deal now we have ascendance we have stormkeeper we have electric charge i mean it kind of makes me a little bit more interested we're going to be very electric e this x pack i think the kind of the interesting news is that ascendance hasn't changed which is a little bit disappointing for me i'm still hoping that they do something to make ascendance more viable in pvp i think it could do something just a little bit of flavor on that text would be awesome but for now it's the exact same as it is on live we're gonna move on next storm keeper the the artifact weapon is gone but we've taken uh some pretty interesting stuff from it specifically this the artifact ability is now turned into a talent that you can take and it does seem pretty viable now that ice fury is gone get used to it everybody it's happened pretty much where we are right now is charge yourself with a lightning causing your next two lightning bolts or chain lightnings to be instant cast and trigger an elemental overload on every target meaning you chain them chain lightning multiple targets then we get another chain lightning on each of those targets previously it looked like this was going to be a run cast i do not see any text here that indicates that it's going to be a, a casting while moving ability bummer but it is what it is it seems like this will be the choice on this talent unless electric discharge <laughs> electric discharge <laughs> blizzard Come on. Why? Why did you name it this? The last one is increases the bonus damage of lightning bolt from fulmination by 20%. Now you might be, what are you talking about, Blizzard? What are you talking about? Increases the bonus damage of lightning bolt from fulmination. Oh yeah, that's because earth shock and fulmination have changed. Let's go into it. Let's just do it. Starting with earth shock. Here's the situation. On live today, you can use between zero and all of your Maelstrom on a target. Increases in a linear scale. I don't know if it's actually linear, but pretty much an increasing scale of damage the more Maelstrom you spend. The new BFA, Urshock, now only will consume up to 60 Maelstrom when cast. Yes, that is not 100. That is not over 100. It's a little bit interesting that now it's only 60. So then you might ask, how much Maelstrom are we going to have, Tickle? I don't know the answer to that one. Don't know the answer to that one. Yeah, let's assume we're at 100. It's kind of nice. You know, you're going to be able to use 60 out of 100. Kind of interesting, kind of cool. Uh, I'm hoping that it's at least 100 Maelstrom because this would be great. This would be great. Urshock's maximum damage is 60. That means we're going to be using it a lot more often. It seems to me like there's going to be a lot more, uh, you know, using of different schools of magic a lot more often. Not just waiting for that big, big damage actual damage itself is pretty much the descriptive force is pretty uh descri descriptive words is pretty much the exact same increasing damage up to so much additional damage based on the mouse room spent the other change here is that it is no longer zero seconds it's now six seconds you cannot spam it you never really do so i'm not really sure what they're doing pretty much they put a cooldown on pretty much all the shocks now except for frost shock now let's go to fulmination it gets a little bit confusing with fulmination because there's actually two different passives right now that have been mined out. One is damage from your lightning bolt lava burst generates 15% or 15 maelstrom and your chain lightning generates 6 maelstrom. When cast, earth shock will consume all of your available maelstrom converting into additional damage. Meaning that you're just going to do more damage when you use that earth shock. Now another version of fulmination was pulled out which says when you earth shock a target every 25 Maelstrom you have up to 75 will cause the target to take an additional 100 damage from lightning bolt What does this mean? Blizzard Well, what it basically means is if you use 75 maelstrom in an earth shock and you and you don't even have that talent uh, That we were just talking about discharge taken you will cause the target to take an additional 300% damage from lightning bolt that's what it means. That's what it means. Now, if you take electric discharge, what this means is it's going to be an additional 120% damage for every 25 up to 75, meaning you can get up to plus 360 damage on the next lightning bolt. Now, it doesn't even, it's not even clear how long this buff would last, how long, it, how long that would be up for if it's consumed once you use one lightning bolt or more, but it seems like lightning bolt's going to be pretty critical in this next X-Pack. And that covers the P... 
And that's about it for the talents for an elemental shaman in Battle for Azeroth as it stands today. Now, there are so many changes with Ellie and shaman in general. There's just so many. I can't cover all the spells and everything else in this video. I will be making another video which goes through individual spells, walking you through all the changes. What now? Why do we need that? We just went over all the talents. Well, as you all know now, there are so many changes to individual skills that we need another video to go through them. Even to the heals, even to little tiny things. But hey, you got to know about it. So I'm going to leave you with two more nuggets of information. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these juicy pieces. One is based on the notes from Blizzard, Bloodlust will be scaling off of your spell power. Yeah. Yeah, I said it. Bloodlust's changing. Bloodlust is no longer blanket 30%. It's now 30% plus 25% percent of your uh, spell power. That's insanity. Last but not least, everybody, we got Tremor Totem back. One minute cooldown. This is just baseline. You get summons an earth elemental, five, five health, at the feet of the caster, chase the ground, Around it for 10 seconds like a party. Removes fear, charm, sleep from your party members within 30 yards. Oh my god. Thank you, Blizzard. You brought home the Tremor Totem. Well, everybody, that's... I mean, I, there's no bigger bombshell than Tremors home. You got the Tremors again, boys. And with that, we've covered so much, but there is so much more. I'm going to give all the links down in the description if you want to know now. There are so many changes. Even Earth el Elemental Focus is gone. A little bit, little change, crazy things have changed. I mean, we are going to go through it all in another video. I'm going to go through each individual ability. We're going to just walk right through it. I want to let you guys know uh, the no changes to ma mastery. There's so much. There is so much. And don't forget, we there's guys with freaking mushroom heads. Like, what is this guy doing? And why does he have a loincloth on? We don't even know. But anyway, guys, we already went over through so much stuff here. I apologize for how long this is. I know I usually go quick, but this is just so exciting. And so this is huge shifts. I will make other videos about what I think about this or what have you. But let me know down in the comments below if you want me to go through any other classes. If you want to know anything else about Shaman. If you have any thoughts, what do you think is going to be good? Do you think Lava Burst? Do you think the meatballs are gone? Do you? We're going to have to make up a new meme with Lightning Bolt. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know the memes. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.